5200. Uh, extension 217, please. Hello. Hi, Bruce. It's Alan Adrian. Who? Alan Adrian. Uh, brief me. Um, you know, the photos, bondage. Oh, right. Referred by How Penny Lane. Good. Uh, you want to come up today? Okay. All right, give me a time. Uh, did you want to do this over lunch or just in your office? No, we'll just sit here and chat. I got, I got a book coming in today that I have to wait to see the flats. Okay, is he Actually, up? we could do it over lunch. Uh, what time do you want to come up? Something like 1 o'clock. Is that okay? Okay, that sounds great. Great. All right? So what floor are you on? The sixth. The sixth floor? Yeah. Right. Okay, I'll see you at 1. All right, bye. Right, bye. Hello? Hi, extension 908. Hi, it's me. Hi, how did I get you right away? Oh, uh, you just got me, that's all. I was supposed to ask for the extension first. Yeah, I know. Um, I just see. dialed. Uh, I, I'm getting out, I'm busting out at 11 o'clock on Thursday. Can you get me? 11 o'clock a.m. Yeah. I'm going to be pretty messed up. I have an appointment at 1 p.m. We have plenty of time. That's plenty of time. I have to be out here by 11. If you want to come earlier, you can. 10, 10.30. Oh, you can leave earlier. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, when will I be able to talk to you again? I mean, will I be able to talk to you Wednesday night? Tomorrow night? Wednesday night. Yeah, that's tomorrow night, yeah. Yeah, you probably could, Um, but I can't guarantee I'll be conscious. Then, then, I, then there's no guarantee I can talk to you. Right. Well, I can talk to you Thursday morning. Uh, yeah, I might be going into surgery early though. Oh. I'm not sure when it's gonna be. Okay. They might do it first thing. So, um. Okay. The other thing, yeah, a couple things, interesting things to tell you. What? I saw Penny Lane today. Oh yeah, what you? And she said that your stuff is the best stuff she ever read. Really? Yeah. The one I wrote? Yeah, the stuff you wrote, she said, was the best stuff she's ever read. God, that's great. I didn't even write. I mean, it was just like from a, from a diary. And she said... like Dave's stuff? Dave's stuff? Yeah, because I sent her some of my stuff and some of Dave's. Is that who it was? Yeah. I didn't know. Well, he's a great writer. I didn't know who's... I said both my stuff and his. <clears throat> what was the... Can you use it? Huh? She said, your, she said your stuff was better than the other stuff. I mean, I didn't know who, um, you know, who the other writing was by that you had sent. She liked mine better than Dave's? She says your stuff is better than the other stuff. Yeah. Wow. And anyway, she said the only reason she didn't get back to you, she, she wants to hold on to it because she wants to use it, but she can't uh, buy it now. Right. Well, that's cool. She can hang on to it. Okay. God, that's wonderful. Now, how come you're so good? You, God, I'm I didn't jealous. Even try. <laughs> I'm jealous. You're so fucking good at everything. You make me mad. I know. <laughs> you make me sick. Well, come and get me on Thursday because I need you. I mean, all I should leave you there. I mean, all you do is lift your pinky, and everyone thinks you're so good. That's because I am good. John, I'm a good writer. And Don't here I have to it. struggle along with everything. I'm a very good writer. Face it. Well, you've got to let me read those things. I haven't even read them. There's a copy of it uh, somewhere on my desk. Where'd you see Penny? Today. Where? At her work? Yeah, at her same place. And Because I came over to see uh, the art director of Blue Boy. Right. Are you going to be in there? They're going to do a spread on me. Wow. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> That's great. I mean, bondage spread. That's fabulous. It's terrible, God. Why? No, it's okay. I was just thinking, though, that... Um, the audience? You don't think it's good? No, I, I'm, I'm really into it. I'm That's completely... That's a great career move, and I think you should... Uh, what? ...cultivate that audience. Yeah, I'm completely it's into it. Far. I'm completely into it. The only thing that I was thinking of... I was just thinking of this a few minutes ago, is that Flint Distributing distributes that magazine. You know, the people that interviewed for me, me for that account oh, executive what? position. Well... They'll probably see it. They may not. I mean, there's so many magazines yeah. that they don't look at everything, but... 
Okay. So, huh? Thank you for calling. Oh, you're you're welcome. I want some but ice cream. You have to come get me on Thursday, really. What happens if I don't? What happens if you don't? Yeah. I'm stuck in Manhattan and I can't go home. Why? Because I'll be all screwed up. You can't go in the subway because someone may punch you in what the nose? What do you mean I can't go in the subway? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Don't worry. I'm not going to make you do that. But I'm saying, why can't you? Because somebody will punch you in the nose? No. Nobody's going to punch me in the nose. If they do, I'll die. I can't even wear glasses for two weeks after this. Oh, you mean you can't, you can't function? I know. You can't do anything. I'm blind as a bat. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. Yeah, I really don't see too well anymore. So I took cortisone treatment for 10 years, and my, I'm going blind. Oh, no. Yeah. Isn't that a drag? I yeah. Care. You don't care. Jesus Christ. Well, either that or die. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be blind. So what will I do about my 1 o'clock appointment, though? Well, where is it? Um, West 57th Street. Oh, God, you're such a... Oh, you're such a baby. Look, you come and you get me between 10 and 10.30. It takes 20 minutes. Well, it, it would just be nice to work it out more sensibly, like like I take I pick you up after my appointment. Now, if I had my appointment... Yeah, I have to be out of here by 11. If I had my appointment at a different time in the morning or something. Well, I may call him and try to way, change it. Huh? Yeah, but it's a little out of your way, but I insist that you do it. <laughs> I mean, to, to come into Manhattan... Uh, Back and forth three times. So. I know, but I'm worth it. I suppose so. Damn it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of you one way or the other. Don't worry. One way or the other, you better, because otherwise I'm stuck here. One way or the other, I'll take care of you. All right. On Thursday morning. All right. Okay, well, you know what the phone number is here. Yes. Okie doke. Okay. Okay, good night. Bye.